All right, so we're back. Beautiful day here. You got the, the beach balls in the pool. I'm here with Shock and Alejandro, and Wayne Rooney also joins us. Preparing, <laughs> preparing for your first full season uh, of Major League. With Sox. a real beard, not whatever yeah, Shock's got on? going on here. I, I, what? Yeah. You just think of a beard. That's so, all right. That's all right. Thank you very much. Wayne. It's a it's more not, tea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not a beer. It's not a beer. I just wish I knew I would have kept a beard as well. We could have really had a good time here. We look like a, some Max bikers. No. No. Thanks, no. thanks for that, Max. No, Max thanks no. for that. Smooth. So, Wayne, <laughs> you're preparing for your first full season, and I think that's a relief. But when you came in the middle of the summer, uh, you hit the ground running. I mean, what was – when you look back now, what was the reason that made it look – so easy to adjust to this new team and be able to score the goals that you were able to do? Um, I think my teammates. I think, obviously, um, it was an exciting time coming in and the team was struggling. Um, but the players were, were good players and they had a lot of ability and it was really confidence getting a, a few good results together and um, the players realised that they were actually better than what they were performing and, obviously, uh, I helped in that. But um, I think my teammates um, proved to themselves that they were good enough to, to perform better. Aside from our colleague Sebastian Salazar, who was critical of you coming to DC United. Does he bother you to say he's yeah. around there? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 he tried to apologize. Uh, well, we, we felt that uh, this was great for DC United, this was great for Major League Soccer, but I think the moment in which you really became beloved and appreciated by people in MLS and certainly DC United fans is that play against Orlando when you mm. go chasing and then you get the ball and then get the assist. Take us through what goes through your mind as the play is going through? Um, well, first of all, I seen the goal at two two. I seen the goalkeeper um, coming up to go into the box to, to go for a header, and I was like, "What's he doing?" <laughs> I, like, I, 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 I don't know why he was there. <laughs> so um, rather than when I seen that, everyone just ran in the box. So um, really, I just used a bit of experience and. I uh, kept myself outside the box, uh, warm for in case the ball dropped out, because there's a lot of bodies, there's a chance it could drop out and I could get a shot. I knew there was to obviously try and stop the counter attack, which which happened, and, um, and then, uh, as I think any player would do, I just ran back in. And the, the tackle I made really was all or nothing, it was either I take the ball or I take the player, and um, thankfully I got the ball and it stayed in play, and, um, and then... Uh, I put the ball across to, to Luciano, who, who I think it gets lost. It was a great header for the size of him to get up and, and score the He wouldn't be the guy to be winning <laughs> the size in the box. So, no, it was a great header. But, no, I think from that moment, I think people realised that I was here to to work hard and to, to and give everything for the team. And, and as much as Luciano might not have been the player you expected to, to win that header, I wasn't expecting you to make that run back, in all honesty. What, what adjustments have you felt that you've had to make? in coming into to Major League Soccer as opposed to maybe the roles you played previously with, with Manchester United and, and Everton? Um, well, I think the last few years I've played a lot deeper. I've played more of a midfield role um, towards the end at Manchester United and um, at Everton last season. I started as a striker and then played a bit mm. deeper. And I think it was good when I spoke to Ben. The, he said, I want you as my number nine. So straight away, I, I can put me I'm not playing in, as a midfield role. Obviously, I can come back at times, but I knew what my role was. And um, and then, really, on the pitch, there's not much difference. The, the big change, big difference is, is um, th things off the pitch. But on the pitch, it's football, it's one and all. So I can quite easily see one near to that too. Looking back, you did all the, the great work in the regular season, not only make the postseason, but you got to get into fourth place, which means a home game, and then the game against Columbus. What, what was the discussions afterwards of what you guys didn't do well on that night that prevented you from moving that season on at least another couple of weeks? I think we were a bit naive. We knew how Columbus were going to play. We knew that um, they were going to let us get the ball to the fullbacks and then close the space and, and, and put pressure on us from there. And we didn't adapt to that that well enough to be honest and um, so a bit naive I think some of the players were, were nervous with the occasion which um, hopefully we can learn on this year um, and, and do better but I think on the night we had a, we went at our best and Columbus played quite well we, we went to penalties and um, you know we I missed Luciano missed in and, and we were out so it's um, we're all devastated we're going out but I think we can take a lot of positives from last season and, and hopefully we can start this season well. So you talk about starting this season well 
and, and obviously that's important in order to get the season going and the expectations for DC United. But now there's obviously expectations for Wayne Rooney. And, and the truth of the matter, as you very well know, is that it'll, the perception from the outside looking in is that this team will go as far as Wayne Rooney takes them. So what is it about DC United that we should be looking at and thinking, okay, this is a team we'll certainly feature this season? I think obviously I can only we haven't started train, training yet, so I can only say on on what what happened last season, but also in the next few weeks on on players coming in. Hopefully we bring a few more few more players in. I think we need um, two or three more players to to really push. You know the likes of Atlanta and, and New York Red Bulls. So hopefully that happens. And but I think um, we're an exciting team for young players. We've got. Exciting players, which you know, I think for me, I've, a lot of people say that I come in and I've done well to turn the, the team around. But for me, Luciano Acosta was was incredible. It was a joy right. to play with him, and I think he was um, he was a massive reason why we we done so well also.